Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. I said I wasn't going to make a reaction video about Richie Mack's Zoom to Thailand video of the women following us to paradise. But there was one thing this woman said in the video I have to address. Let's take a listen. You said no, we're we, mad at you guys because no, you're not. No, I think you guys think that we're mad at y'all mm -hmm. because y'all ain't married us. And we not. That's my point. We don't go. go Do you on. really feel that way? Yes, you, we're you, not. We're, listen, all we say is leave us out of it. If you got to if you got to go off and find your happiness somewhere else, go find it. Leave me alone though. Right? You don't got to talk or make a series about why American women are horrible and why American women are that, why black women are that. Like just go off and do your damn thing. And then we don't have no reason to respond. Like there's nothing to respond to. Go live your life. We're not mad. If you haven't checked out the entire video yet, I put the link in the description box below. And while you're on Richie's channel, Zoom to Thailand, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of his videos. I promise you won't be disappointed. Listen, all we say is leave us out of it. Well, we tried to leave black women out of it. Unfortunately, black women themselves wouldn't stay out of it. Put your seatbelts on, ladies, because I'm about to break it all the way down so that it will forever be broken. So, when did this gender feud start between black women and black men? It all started with the I don't need a man movement, which started with black women being groomed by the powers that be to seek higher education, start their own businesses and get their independence. Thus the birth of the phrase, I'm strong and independent. Now the plan was to divide black men and women and black women fell for it hook, line and sinker. So men reacted by saying, okay, cool. Question. Before women started this, I don't need a man, I can do it all by myself because I'm strong and independent movement. When did you ever hear black men saying, I don't need a woman, I can do it by myself? You didn't. It was black women that started that mess. Along with the strong and independent saying came black girl magic, black girl power, and girls rock, etc. As a result, black women started making their own money, which even to this day, men never had a problem with. But black women jumped on the feminist movement. Keep in mind, the feminist movement had nothing to do with black women making their own money. It was about women getting equal pay for doing the same job as a man. But black women took it to a whole nother level, a level it was never intended for. Black women said they wanted to be equal to men as a whole. You know, we can do anything a man can do, including paying our own bills. So we don't need a black man for anything. They said it loud and they said it proud. And they said it so much that black men reacted. And that's when we said, if you wanna be equal to men, then pay half these bills. Thus the birth of men asking women to go 50-50. Question, when did you ever hear men saying that they want women to pay half the bills or half on a date before women started claiming they wanted equality? You didn't. Men started asking black women to go 50-50 as a reaction to black women saying they wanted to be equal. So black women started that mess. Along with black women starting to make more money and becoming more independent, black women started saying they won't date a man unless he makes six figures or more. How much does a man have to make to be with you? Six figures plus. I need vacations. I need nice vehicle. I need, I need a lot. So black men reacted by saying that women were being ridiculous with their demands on how much money a man should make in order to date them. That's when the statistics were made public by black men to make every woman aware that the average black man in the US earns about $47,000 a year, give or take a thousand or two. Once black women heard those stats, they started making videos calling men who make less than $100,000 a year broke and dusty. What's at play here is that these dusty, mediocre at best so-called men. Oh, and they also added the degrading phrase with your little $50,000. Your little $2,000 a month is doing something in Thailand, whereas in the States we broke, nigga. So of course, she take my money. Black men reacted. Yes, it's a trifling friend indeed. And started calling women gold diggers. Oh, she's a gold digger. So the women responded by saying, how can we be gold diggers if you don't have gold for us to dig with your broke asses? Once again, degrading black men. And then this video came out, 
Richie Max zoomed to Thailand when he showed his beautiful Thai woman Elle bringing him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And of course, black men loved how feminine, beautiful, and cooperative Elle was. Black men stated they too wanted a feminine woman just like Elle. Now, in that video, Richie Mack clearly stated that he never asked Elle to do any of the things that she was doing, that she was doing it all on her own. I don't ask for any of this. Not one time have I asked her to do this. But of course, black women who saw the video completely overlooked that part. And that's when black women got nasty with black men saying that they were only looking for a slave. You passport bros, it's, it's giving slave master vibes. <laughs> it's giving slave master vibes. That's what it's giving. It's, it's giving, you're looking for someone to be a slave. Not only degrading L, but degrading every woman in the Asian culture who takes care of their man. Now watch this. I did a video about black women going to Jamaica and getting a tune-up, if you will. Come a passport hoe. Question, when did you ever hear black men degrading Jamaican men for giving service to black women? Never. Yet black women degrade and insult women from other countries, especially Thailand and the Philippines, for being of service to black men. Black women started that mess. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, soon after Richie Mack dropped that video, that was the start of the Passport Bros movement. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Richie Mack's Zoom to Thailand video showing his beautiful woman Elle taking care of him started the Passport Bros movement, but it started around that time. So shout out to Richie Mack and his beautiful Thai noodle Elle. <laughs> Sorry, Richie. I know I'm not supposed to call her Thai noodle, but I just had to do it one time. Respect. Then there was a picture of black men showing their passports and urging other black men to do the same. Black men were not talking to black women. They were only showing other black men that they could do the same. Passport bros. This was never meant for women on mass to learn about. This is our corner of social media. Women discovered it, found out about this term called passport bros, and then began to open their big mouths and tell everybody about it. Black women discovered it in a place that they shouldn't have been in the first place. And now you've jumped in here and you got your feelings hurt. You're mad now. Now you got a lot to say on the internet. But yes, we didn't want you. And there's good reason. You had nothing to offer. You had nothing to offer me. That's why we don't care. We're not mad at those, we're not mad about that. Go, do your thing. They just want you to just leave and don't say nothing. But when we tried that and we were quiet, every other female on TikTok had something to say. Now you telling black men, oh, y'all need to keep quiet. Y'all don't need to say nothing. Hush your mouths. Move in silence. We weren't moving in silence. We're talking to each other on the internet. We had our own boys clubs, passport bro clubs. We were doing our thing. We were communicating. And then y'all jumped in this shit and made it a big effing deal. Black women responded by trying to shame men and hurling insults, saying that black men look foolish in the picture. Brother, are you serious? You look ridiculous. And that if they were going to go overseas, they were going to go over there and abuse those women in those countries. I'm going to go overseas and get me a foreign girl. <laughs> Passport bros go to third world countries and purchase little girls and turn her into a breeding mare. They're little girls, you're sick. Hey, who you calling a little girl? So you can come over there and abuse their women? That as a black man, if you wanna roll up in some of these other countries and try to abuse their sisters and their daughters and their nieces and their mothers and uh, taking them out, toe tagging 4.5 of them a day, you know what's gonna happen. You gonna get hacked up with a machete. So black men reacted and started showing videos of black women degrading men to the entire world. These passport bros are comprised of lonely, broke, overweight, middle-aged men who can't score women in the U.S. because they have nothing to offer besides a one-bedroom apartment with a chirping smoke alarm. It's so crazy to me how these women will get up on TikTok and talk shit about the opposite sex. Meanwhile, you can look right up in the video and tell that they are this hurt because they are projecting for what they cannot receive. This woman really got up here with her two-ton shoulders and her bonnet talking shit about 
overweight men. Ma'am, are you serious? Huh? I can look at you right here and tell that you are morbidly obese, ma'am. Fix yourself first before you talk about other people. How about that? I just want to understand what makes you spend $135 on an adult passport to go literally get the same type of hoo-ha that you can literally get from across the street. What do you see when you see this young lady? Okay, you see the septum ring, of course. Let me show you what I see. I see a woman that is wearing a shirt with a pentagram on it. Do you all see that? This right here is a pentagram. If you look right here, there's a horn, there's a horn. It's a devil shirt. So you have the woman wearing the devil shirt with the pentagram, trying to uh, <laughs> talk the moral high ground when it comes to passport bros. It got so bad that even Caucasian women started making passport bros hating videos. I've not seen any women crying over passport bros. However, I have seen a lot of women laughing at passport bros because we can replace men like you with cats and dogs. Now we all know that Caucasian men have been going overseas to seek companionship from women from other countries since we could remember. Caucasian women knew this. Question, when did you ever see a video of a Caucasian woman disrespecting a Caucasian man for going overseas to seek companionship with those women? You didn't. Caucasian women started doing it because they saw black women doing it. Black women started that mess. Did the black women stop there? No, of course not. They decided to go further in trying to insult and embarrass black men for wanting to utilize their passport and started degrading women from other countries, especially those women from the Philippines, Thailand, and the Dominican Republic. When you pay attention to the passport bros, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm -hmm. like oh. women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education, and not, women that, that need them, women, them. That, women that need women them. Are. At this point, women from those other countries reacted to what black women started. And then you got the nerve, ladies, to start talking crap about foreign women, women that don't know you, that you never met, had nothing to do with. And guess what? As to be expected, those women start talking back. But you think foreign guys treat us like doormats? Lady, you have no clue. Foreigners have the general reputation of being more caring and attentive than anything we've ever known. Who told you otherwise? You call them all sorts of horrible names, and they responded. People be like, these American guys are going across the country to find a Filipina slaves. Girl, you're just not doing your job. You don't think they know about you? They know more about you, ladies, and I'm talking about black American women, than you know about them. Because they bother to observe your culture. Hell, how can they help it? It's all in Hollywood, it's on TV, it's in the music. They may not agree with it, but they don't say anything about it. Nevertheless, you open up that door. Because you're calling them uneducated, you're calling them poor, you're calling them weak, you're calling them vulnerable, you're creating a superiority complex where you are at the top and women from all these other countries are at the bottom. Now let me tell you something. If you were really superior, the men would not be leaving and you would not be single. Question, when did you ever see any of the women from any other country going off on black women from the matrix before you saw black women starting to make these passport bro hating videos? Never. It only started because Asian women were reacting to black women disrespecting them. Black women started that mess. Are you starting to see the trend here? Black women are only getting reactions to the mess that they start. And as a reaction, we are now seeing more black men not only not dating black women, but not acknowledging them even when we pass them on the street. Uh, let's take a quick poll uh, by a show of hands. How, in the past year, how many of you all have walked by a black woman and just kept looking forward in the past year? Damn. Okay, okay. How many of y'all have done it more than once in the past year? All right, how many of y'all have done it more than five times in the past year? Damn. How many of y'all make this a normal practice when you see black women on the street Instead of saying, what's up, sister, or even acknowledging her presence, 
y'all just walk by and look straight. That's a fucking normal practice. God damn. Ladies, this is this, this is the climate you created. My thing is this. If that's what's going on, why would you think we would be hunting you down in the club? This is nothing more than a black man reacting to something black women started. Now, I could go on and on about this, but I think you get my point. So for this woman to say, you can go to other countries and date other women, we don't care, but keep us black women out of it. Listen, all we say is leave us out of it. Is absurd. It's very difficult for black men to keep black women out of it when every time they see us doing something they disagree with, they voluntarily throw themselves in it. Not only that, they do it with insults and the most disrespectful way they possibly can. On behalf of all black women everywhere, we absolutely do not give one solitary about you going to another country and finding a wife. Many women, especially black women, will open their mouths and just let their thoughts fly out without taking into consideration the feelings of others. In other words, they don't think before they speak. And with all due respect, this black woman is no different. Think about it. She's sitting in another country, Thailand, sitting in a Thai woman's house because we all know that Elle lives there, sitting on a Thai woman's couch with another Thai woman sitting on the couch, not to mention, or should I say also to mention, her husband is sitting right next to her. And the way she's presenting her so-called defense of black women was disrespectful. Take a look at the black woman sitting to her right on the screen. Look at her posture. She's leaning away from her and her arm is rested on the pillow, which is on the Thai woman's lap. Also, notice that her arm is touching the Thai woman's arm. This tells me that she's signaling to the Thai woman that she's not down with the black woman who's speaking. She's letting the Thai woman know that she has nothing to do with what the black woman is saying, or at least the way she's saying it. Everything that this black woman said and the way she said it did nothing more than further prove why black men are leaving the matrix and finding women from other cultures to bear bond with. As a result, her representing black women was an epic fail. No disrespect. I'm only glad that Elle was not in that room. So in conclusion, everything that black men have been saying about black women and what Asian women have been saying about black women is nothing more than a reaction to something that black women started. So if black women want black men to stop talking about black women, then black women stop disrespecting men when we're doing something that doesn't even concern you. Black men going to other countries to seek companionship from traditional women have nothing to do with you. And since it's all broken, dusty men that you claim you don't want that are leaving the matrix, wouldn't that make things better for you? If so, then stop making videos with the shaming and the insults of black men. But if you decide to continue to do so, you will continue to get a reaction from black men. Out of it because what you do is you go out and you spit, you spit this bullshit to the world, and now the whole world, we as black women, we already at the bottom of the motherfucking totem pole. Everybody at the very fucking bottom. So who put black women at the bottom of the totem pole? Cause I got us. Look, we finna take over the world. We finna be performing at the BET Awards, hmm. the Oscars, hmm. Planet Fitness, Popeyes, Planned Parenthood, uh -huh. and they give me free Plan B pills at the. I'm trying to get my stretch. I'm trying to get my stretch. And we be eating this ass today. Get them Plan B, honey, honey packet, honey pack. and um, you said bundles, sorry, bundles, man. bundles. So I'm guessing black men are responsible for all of that too, huh? So the last thing we need is our brothers, whether you at least look at me like your sister or your cousin, is shitting on me, right? Making other men not want to date me because we're problematic and all these other things, right? So all we saying is just like, shut up, nigga. Shout out to all the beautiful black queens out there. 
who remain respectful to black men and could clearly see why black men are deciding to leave. Um, I just see myself supporting a movement of men who choose to go overseas and find their women. There's nothing wrong with that. This message is for the passport bros. I support this 100%. If I had a son, this is exactly what I would tell him to do. I see you in my comments section and I try to show you love by replying whenever I can. Please know that you are greatly appreciated. Now, let's end this video on a good note with the pleasant and wonderful voice of Elle. Send yourself back, man. <laughs> Steam music! Steam music! Steam music! Steam music! Hey! Don't forget to subscribe for my channel! Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, black women, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared. <laughs>